Where are you? Where are you? Where? Where? Oh my god! Where the hell did you come from? No! You best get over here and get away from my- I mean, don't get over here, but get away from my thing. Let's just get this and go, dude. Yeah! Jesus Christ! Thank you, game. It's right there. It's right there. I freaking knew it. I just gotta go underneath here. In the safe place. Oh my goodness, I should not be down here. What's up, people? I'm IGP, and welcome back to Subnautica. So last episode, we had just finished upgrading our Seamoth to be able to go 900 meters deep. That's pretty deep. That's deeper than what we actually need to complete two of the quests that we are doing right now. One of which is the Degassi quest. I guess you can call it a quest, right? It's, it's a journey of sorts. Uh, we actually found out that we are hella infected and uh, in order to do anything on this planet, we need to look to disable this gun because it done destroyed our ship, the Degassi ship, and now the Sunbeam? Like, come on. That's way too many ships for you to have on your kill count. So we're going to put it into it. Uh, but first, we need to go to the Degassi. That's going to be the first step because it's, it's only 500 meters deep, whereas the disease research facility is about 800. Still, 900 meters deep! Uh, I'm in my Seamoth as if I'm ready to go, but I'm dumb because I need some power cells. Anyway, if you guys are still enjoying Subnautica, be sure to let me know in the comment section below, and let's begin. So, uh, all I need for a power cell is two batteries. Uh, oh, I can make titanium. Two batteries and a silicone rubber. Yeah, so two batteries, which I do have plenty of. I should make a battery charger, dude. How much is it for that? I think I also have a power cell charger too. Oh my goodness, I do. Uh, so battery charger, I'll put that, I'll put it right here. Uh, so copper wire, titanium, and wiring kit. I'm pretty sure the wiring kit is silver and some odd stuff. I, I, I can never remember, dude. I'm so bad. Oh, hey, look at that. How perfect. I'm getting all kinds of lucky here. That's the battery charger, right? Man, if I'm not a god at this game. All right, uh... Wow, wait, what happened to all my battery? Did I put them all away? Seriously? All right, just give me give me all these real quick. Charge that one, charge that one, charge that one. Okay, let's scan ourselves. How bad are we? Infected. That's not good. Oh yeah, last episode too, we got this crazy thing. Uh, freaking modification station. We got a new knife. We got a new tank. We got new fins. Uh, and we got the upgraded Seamoth depth module. So basically... All we need, all, only other things that we haven't made yet is the repulsion cannon, which is incredibly easy to make. Look at that. This is ridiculous. All right, we got to go find some, uh, some creep vine seed clusters, which I could just do with my super fast fins and my super duper sea glide, which if you guys, hey, do you guys remember in the beginning of Subnautica, uh, in early development, that was the power glide, which was like, you could modify this thing to be super fast and you can like right click and it would shoot you off into the sky. That seemed like an amazing thing that is no longer in the game, which sucks. I really was hoping that it would be. I feel like I'm going the wrong way. Where the hell is the kelp forest? What is this? Carrying high priority passengers remains. Oh yeah, I've done seen this. I actually saw it on someone else's video. I was like, damn, this is going to be interesting. Uh, we'll show you that later on. As a matter of fact, that'll be our first destination before going down there. How about that? You guys want to see the super, super awesome VIP dude? He's super VIP, man. Likely he's, uh, you know, a character that uh, was important to the mission. Uh, if, we, if we haven't delved into that part of the story yet, I'm sorry if I spoil it. But it has something to do with uh, the the Aurora's mission isn't exactly what it was told to us. Like, I'm not a dude that's meant to be doing what I'm doing. I'm just lucky, right? So there's, there's other reasons why this ship came to this planet, is all I'm saying. All right, give me that silicone rubber. We get two of them. I'm just gonna make a, quite a bunch, quite a, quite a few bunch. That's two power cells. Let's make three power cells, and then I can make a lubricant. And yes, let's make one power cell and then a two power cell and then i take the extra power cell and i put inside storage unit in the sea mouth so yeah i, I totally botched having a freaking unlimited supply of gel sacks because i'm an idiot let's just go we got some water i'll take another one just in case and we're all set let's leave let's go check out the high priority passenger first oh right i'm supposed to put it in my uh storage bay come here bam bam 
That way, you know, if, if the if the Seamoth gets destroyed, I lose that too. <laughs> it's that's so smart. We're going pretty far without having the Cyclops or the Moon Pool, which I think, honestly, we're going to get the Moon Pool fragments over here once we get there. We haven't actually been to that biome yet, so this is going to be pretty fun. Okay, I feel like I've been in the Kelp Forest for about seven hours now. If I could get out, that'd be fantastic. Ooh, mushrooms. It's getting dark. Just how I like it. Oh, remains. Excuse me. Oh, my goodness. So the, this person's already dead is what you're telling me? Oh, that's so good. I'm excited. Oh, wait. This goes to... Oh, there's a... Oh, this is the big tree. It's the Deku tree. Hey, Live Pod 13. I'm pretty sure you're important. So whatever you have over here, I'm just going to steal it. Remains. Oh, you mean like PDA remains. Oh, I was, I don't know why I thought uh, that would be like remains remains. That's my fault. Uh, so data downloads, Aurora survivors, 13. Let's listen. Live pod launch sequence initiated. Entering planetary atmosphere. My creators, the cherishers and sustainers of worlds, give me this day my daily pleasures as I give to those who seek pleasures from me. External temperature approaching critical levels. Show me the path in life, truth, and love for mine is the power. I am the one on and off and on again. Impact imminent. Life is a game which the universe plays with itself. I am done playing as this bundle of flesh. Return me. That is the most awesome voice log I've ever heard. Uh, what's interesting about that is a lot of people are speculating that it's like, th there's an extra element to everything, right? That this was like way too weird to be like a dude praying. But that's, it. to me, it seems like that's all it is. Is a guy in his last moments, he knows he's going to die uh, and he, he prays. And at the very end, he's, he, that's what he says, like, it, you know, universe blah blah play with yourself something like that and then he says i am done playing with this flesh uh return me like he wants to return to to not existing he wants to return to the planet or to the, oh my god what is that reaper seriously you know we have been extremely lucky to avoid them where the hell am i hearing that holy crap all right well we got to go in here first obviously so that was cool yeah i don't think um there's much else to it it's it's not really an easter egg either it's it's part of the story obviously if it gives you a a uh a freaking signal to it it's not it's not an easter egg pull stay away oh my god i just realized all of my stuff is messed up give me the heat blade propulsion cannon on five uh repair tool there we go that should be good all right how do we get in this there's got to be a door somewhere hello sea moth i already have you i'll take a metal salvage why not more sea moths huh I'm guessing we were supposed to come over here at some point <laughs> way earlier in the game. It's kind of what I really, really like about this game is that you can go however you want to and the game will still end up putting you where you need to be. It's a very guided, very guided game, but not linear at all. Hi, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to get in, buddy. No, stay away. Aha, there we go. Okay. I still got some time. I'm just going to go in. Hello. Oof. Mobile vehicle bay. I already have you, buddy. Gotta go up and around. I'm gonna get lost again, and I'm gonna die. Uh, mobile vehicle bay. Okay, so all this stuff is pretty much early game stuff that I already have. So nothing crazy. Is that seriously that- is this seriously it in this wreck? This wreck is huge. That's fine. We have all this stuff. I'm not gonna complain. Oh, wait, there's a PDA. Almost missed it. Almost missed it. Degrassi crew manifest. Ooh. Auxiliary uh, search and rescue mission. Margaret Maida. This is under... What is this under? Uh, position freelance security personnel. Status lost in space near planet 4546B. Age at time of disappearance 42. Okay. Mercenary born in the Mongolian states. Experienced in ship to ship and close quarters combat techniques. Tours of duty with the Mongolian Defense Force and the Trans System Federation. Dishonorably discharged from the TSF 15 years ago for going off mission details classified. Emissary Kazar reports Maida was hired to accompany Paul Torgel on board the Degassi into uncharted space and defend the ship in case of assault by pirates or rival corporations. Kazar, isn't that the dude? Kazar, yeah, that's what? Oh, okay, they're connected in a way. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Okay, here we go. Whew. 
I almost... Hello, Seamoth? <laughs> Come back to me! So they're connected! That's interesting. Uh, I gotta read that one more time. One second. Reports Mida was hired to accompany Paul Torgel on board. Okay. Oh, well, I completely missed where it said Emissary. Did it say that before? In the other one? It probably did. Yeah, Emissary's voice log. I just totally blew over that. So his special mission was to retrieve Mida. Hello? I have a floater on me. Hey, stop it. Okay, this is actually disrupting. Can you- Oh my goodness! Give me this. Get off me. Dude, that is the first time I've ever had to deal with floaters. Anyway, yeah, so is that what his mission was? To bring, uh, bring Mida home? Seems interesting. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Proposed Degassi habitat. 500 meters down, and it's going to be so good. Luckily for me, my Seamoth is a boss. Holy crap, it's dark over here. <laughs> It looks like the pop-in has been... Uh, never mind. <laughs> I was literally gonna say the pop-in looks like it's gotten improved a bit, but not really. Uh, salt... Well, you know what? I'm gonna have the, uh, filtration machine soon, which makes salt. Then I can just get coral stuff and, and turn it into goods. Okay, so this is the Grand Reef. Welcome, everybody. To the Grand Reef. Oh, I love the ambient sounds of this. I kind of wish I could turn up. I know we can actually, if you guys didn't notice, uh, we have options now for this. So like music volume, ambient volume, uh, but I can't turn down sound effects to make the ambient sounds louder. So the Seamoth is always going to be pretty loud. Hello. <gasps> oh, hello there. How you doing? Right, what resources again can I get? I think I can get a surplus of rupees down here and quartz. Oh yeah. Where are you? Dude, the cinematic trailer is amazing. If you ever want to see some of these creatures. Oh, gel sack! Yes! <laughs> Alright, so I can hit this for some seeds that I will then plant. That would be the best option. So now I can't eat them. I don't think I can eat them. They are not consumable, so that's good. There we go. Ha 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 ha! We got it. <laughs> I'll make some air gel in the future. Whoa! What, uh... Oh, is it super hot over here? What the hell? Those things are spreading that much... Okay, I mean, I see them, but... Should you really be giving me that much heat? All right, Ruby. More... Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, my... Oh, my God! No! No! Please don't destroy my Seamoth! No! No. Is it dead? We gotta go. Alright. We gotta go. We gotta go. I gotta go around a corner. Gotta go around a corner. Oh my god. Please help me. Am I gonna be able to repair? I gots to repair right now. Leave me alone. Alright. Looks like I- Okay, what? I'm repairing. Stop. Looks like I'm gonna have to avoid that area. Jesus Christ. For those who don't know, that's a ghost leviathan. Uh, which- they, they used to be, uh, planned originally to only be in the Lost River. Uh, there was also talk about them being out in the open part that you can't really play on. Um, which they are, uh, spoilers. Uh, but th th they're in the freaking Grand Reef, too. This sucks. This sucks big time. I don't want stuff to die. I'm gonna save. That would be the smart thing to do. Give me that. Ooh, what is this? You're in a night? Yes. We'll take that. Ooh, another Reginald. I wonder if mine have, uh, duplicated themselves yet. Alright, what am I gonna do about this ghosty? I guess I am going to avoid it, really. Because I just gotta go down here. Yeah, we'll avoid it for now. <laughs> we shall avoid. These things almost look like ghost leviathan babies. Which I don't like either. Another gel sack, dude. Let's go. I don't really need it, though, to be honest. I have enough seeds. Okay. Where are you? Where are you? Where? Where? Oh my god! Where the hell did you come from? No! You best get over here and get away from my- I mean, don't get over here, but get away from my thing. I'm gonna fight you. Oh god, he's angry. He's angry. He's angry. He's also super infected. I'm just gonna kill him with this thing. Get out of here. <laughs> Dude, he doesn't want to fight me. <laughs> I got him! Yo! Dude, you suck. I just killed you with a propulsion cannon! Crab squid! Oh yeah, look at that guy. 
Large predator can be found in deep waters where it lurks amongst the blood kelp and membrane trees in search of prey. It can deploy a powerful electromagnetic pulse to defend itself. Uh, ten limbs feature different appendages for swimming, walking, hunting, and possibly even tool use. Creatures... What? Creatures caught in this grasp are expertly butchered and quickly consumed. Raise another illuminated herbivores are... Is that the ghost ray making that noise? Get away from me. It's its usual prey, and it will approach and attack any light source in the vicinity. Its EMP blast was likely developed as a response to predation by creatures with electrical hunting mechanisms, like the uh, warpers. Intelligence. Uh, while crab squids appear to have large brains and a resemblance to the intelligent squids of Earth, the organ inside the creature's head is in fact its stomach which it must fill with startling regularity. Uh, neutralizes electric equipment. Light attracts its unwanted attention. Okay, yeah, you guys are creepy. We get it. Shut up. I killed it with a gel sack and a few rocks. I'm amazing. Ooh, what are you? Whoa. Yo, is that a crab squid egg? We got eggs. All right, I'll plant that one once I get a base built. Because I need to have a larger aquarium for that. <laughs> Look at that guy. Is super infected and dead. No, stop. There we go. Power cell. Power. It's 14 degrees here, dude. That's pretty, uh, I didn't realize there was such an abundance of gel sacks here. I was acting like they were such a rare resource and they're not. Where am I going? Where's my, where's my icon? Is that a diamond? Give me that diamond. Okay, where did the, where did, 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 where's the signal? Hello? Hello, I lost the signal. Is that because I'm right next to it? Okay, uh, what in the hell? Oh! Well, hello there! <laughs> what are you? I got a better question for you. What are you? Is what the audience is asking. Oh, God! Yeah, so that was, uh, that was our dear friend. I won't say who it is, not gonna spoil. Uh... Enjoy that. I'm actually very surprised that she contacted me this late in game. It's it, if I recall correctly, it was quite uh, quite early on. Oh God, dang it! All right, let's get in here. I just saw a warper. Quickly, this is the habitat. A lot of stuffs going on right now. We just got contacted. PDA came out of nowhere. An alien kraken, bigger than a cyclops, tore a hole clear through the reinforced hull. I barely got my breather in time. I told her. I said others would come. A rupture threw me clear of the habitat. And the monster turned and bore down on me. And just as its tentacles came within reach, Mader appeared out of nowhere. She had a sea glide in one hand, a jagged piece of scrap metal in the other. She meant to butcher that beast or die trying. The last I saw her, she had the metal lodged in its neck as the monster did its best to shake her, contorting off into the darkness. I'm certain she got her wish, one way or another. Then, I thought I saw a light deep below me. I hoped maybe Bart had swum clear. I followed it. Now, I wonder whether I saw anything at all. Our oxygen is low. The habitat is gone. I can't see the sky. Something surely has the scent of my blood. <sighs> Dude. The voice acting is so good. Oh my god. All right, well, we just unlocked a bunch of stuff. We got a shield generator. We got swim charge fins. I got a new uh, PDA. And we unlocked the alien containment. So we have number seven and number... Uh-oh, we're getting contacted. Uh, Degassi survivors... Yes, we got two. Number seven would be the one, and then number nine. Stop fighting and listen. We're sick. What? How? You've been coughing, right? Feeling itchy? Blisters? Yeah. The biometrics would have warned us if we were sick. It's something new. It's not in the database. Come on, then. What's it gonna do? Turn us inside out. Dissolve us into jelly. It's an alien bacteria. It's everywhere. Every organism on this planet. It's altering our genetic code. Uh, how are the creatures surviving if they're infected? I don't know yet. Want me to cut some of them open for you? Find out what makes them tick? No. 
Just tell me what you need, son. Materials, equipment, just... Can I have some quiet? I need some time to think. Excellent. Okay, so that, uh, that completes it. If you guys didn't see, we just picked up an awesome egg. Uh, this little guy, the cute little guy is called the cute fish. Or the cuttlefish. God dang it. I keep saying the wrong one. Uh oh, huh, huh. Get back. Going this way. Um, it's attracted to light. I'm gonna keep my lights off. Hopefully we're fine. But that's the cuttlefish, which we will hatch now that we have the alien containment. Oh boy. Whoa. Ooh, God. No, 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 no. Okay, stay away. Perfect. So that was a cuttlefish. We'll, we'll see that guy in a little bit. He becomes our friend, literally our pet. And I'm excited. Uh, but we have some we have some more to listen to from the Degassi. In fact, we got all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. We just listened to seven. We gotta listen to number eight. Margaret, Maida has boarded the habitat. What are you so happy about, Maida? Say, kid, I brought you something. Is that a Leviathan outside? Towed it home on the back of the sub. You killed that thing? It's still breathing. I was about to finish the job, but I can stay in chat if you'd like. No. Then make yourself useful and pass me that hardened blade. Are you out of your mind? You brought that thing here? What if it's not as dead as it looks? What if others come? You prefer it got curious and came of its own accord, or got messed up and dragged here? When we get off this planet, I am going to drag you through every court in the damn Federation. Ah, <laughs> uh, she is a wild card, dude. I'm actually wondering if put together, could you really blame their non-existence uh, on her? Yes, probably. I mean, it's very likely. All right, and the last one. I have had it with you risking our lives. Oh, stow it, chief. The kid can't kill this disease without fish to study. I'm just bringing him home. But tell her. Tell her I'm right. You're both wrong. Marguerite, I can't find out how they resist the bacteria if you slaughter them all. It ain't always they oblige in coming in alive. He means you're being reckless. Father, the outcome's no better if we hole up in here and don't go outside. But we have to find a middle way. There is no compromise. Not while she's on my sea base. Your sea base? I'm going outside. Bart, Torical has disembarked the habitat. Bart, come in. It's dangerous. Damn it, boy. I know you can hear me. Chief. Chief, get off the radio and put on your helmet. What? Brace! <laughs> Holy crap. I couldn't tell what, what Leviathan that was. Sounded like a ghost Leviathan? So that's the end of it. They are now, uh, they are now gone. And as it picks up from the, uh, the cinematic trailer with, with Bart, Bart? Is it Bart? I don't want to say Bart, that sounds really dumb. It is Bart, okay. <laughs> I mean, it's not a dumb name, it just sounds like I would make that mistake, thinking of, like, Bart Simpson, even though I don't watch The Simpsons. Anyway, so that's the end of it. Leviathan attacks, breaks open their base. This is their deepest base they've had. Okay, so I am going to go home because my inventory is full. Uh, if you couldn't tell down there, that is a new biome that we're going to. In fact, the disease... Uh-oh. The disease research facility would be down in that direction. So, I'm going to go home. We're going to put some of this stuff away. We're going to mess with our new toys for a little bit. See what else we can do, build, whatever. Uh, I'm terrified to be out here. What the hell? Oh my god! Oh my god, that scared the living hell out of me. As much as I already know that there aren't any new creatures, these are the sea treaders, by the way. I'm actually going to get out and scan one. Um, but the way they were lined up against this ball made me think it was some kind of giant spider. Please rewind this and tell me if you saw the same thing. Now, these guys are interesting uh, because their feces that they drop uh, is actually the best thing to use for a bioreactor uh, to power your base, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know what else it is used for. I don't think it, there is any crafting recipe that requires it, but this is awesome. I remember when these guys were added in. It was so cool. All right, let me self-scan. Am I dying even more? No, I'm good. Dude, just listen to this. So 
awesome. Can you imagine just running into that? Like hearing it off in the distance. Okay, where is this douche? I feel like he's somewhere over here. Oh, that's a crab squid though. That's not good. I'm just gonna keep running. Okay, I think I think we might be alright. So I got I'm full. My inventory is full. Got a lot of stuff to put away. Ghost Leviathans are terrifying. And if you want to know something scary, that Ghost Leviathan we saw is not the biggest one, by the way. We'll encounter that at some point. You guys will see. Anyway, I'll see you guys back at base. All right, diamond, all this other extra organic stuff can stay in here. Lab equipment should be pretty cool. I can't actually store that, can I? I can just drop them. No, I can't. Oh, I can do this, though. All right, I'll just place them on the ground somewhere. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! I think I could also do that with this. Yeah. Oh, this is my favorite music for Subnautica. Absolutely. It's like what I started with. It's such a good song. Ooh, yeah, I forgot we have the, uh, let me turn this into titanium real quick. We got a radio contact. All right, I'll keep the egg in here and the orange tablet. Actually, I'll, I'll lose that. All these extra special stuff I'll put in here. Batteries should be fully charged. Yes. Perfect. All right, let me see real quick what it is for a power cell charger, because I could really use this on my trips back. Uh, advanced wiring kit, two rubies. How do I make an advanced wiring kit? Two gold, a wiring kit, and a computer chip. Holy crap. I got one silver here. Yeah, this is going to be tough. I think when I come across the items, it'll be better. Also, I can show you guys this. Well, I could just eat the lantern fruits, but this is kind of nice. I actually can't really get back here all that well. So I get a bunch of seeds. I can replant back in, but I could also pick these up and eat them. 12 and 14, respectively. That's pretty, that's pretty dang good. There we go. And now I'm full up and I don't even have to waste my resources. Just need to make stuff to be able to uh, take on a trip with me. All right, now we can plant these guys and we can finally make some aerogel and get our beautiful... I should have probably picked up a, an actual uh, gel sack, though. <laughs> that would have been the smart thing to do. All right, let's listen to this thing while those gel sacks are growing. This is life pod 2 coordinates attached. We're way past our safe depth and bleeding O2. We'll have to swim for the surface, but it's 500 meters straight up. We'll make for the rendezvous and keep you posted. Out. How did the... Signal location uploaded to PDA. Well, how did... How did your... Did it... I mean, did... It's a flotation device. How in the world did it sink? How did these things sink? I know they got destroyed, but this isn't this the part that floats it? None of these seem to be damaged in any of them. I must be confused. How long are you going to take to grow, huh? 19%. Okay, so we got some time. I'm going to go to that real quick. We might as well get rid of all these signals as quickly as we can. This is use life pod sunk before she abandoned it. How dare you? Holy crap, this is very far away. Why are you so far away? Uh-oh. <laughs> We've headed straight down to the underwater islands. Oh, uh, actually, we're in the blood kelp. Uh, don't want to be here. I wasn't actually expecting to be here this soon. Okay, I know that there's a freaking ghost leviathan here, too. I'm pretty sure there's one. In fact, I think I hear it. Hold on. Shh. all this stuff what is this blood oil i will take give me all the blood oil synthetic fibers and the benzene okay used to make special stuff i'll just collect it my inventory's full already oh they're huge right 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 <gasps> shocker ampiel sorry i keep forgetting the names okay they were slashed i'm just stupid cyclops depth module oh jesus <laughs> get away Okay, I don't have it equipped, man. I don't have the thing equipped, man. I gotta get inside, man. Uh, okay, what are you? Is that it? All right. Integrating new <sighs> data. Lipod 2, technical. Okay, let's just listen. Flotation devices failed. Yep, they got slashed. We're flooding. Evacuate. Wait. I can reconfigure the O2 system to act as a bilge pump. <sighs> It's working. Okay, good news. We're alive and we've stopped sinking. Bad? The oxygen's going to run out in 30 minutes and we're 500 meters down. What do we do? 
We'll have to use the remaining juice to send a distress call and build whatever gear we can. Then we find a way to the surface. Oh, God! What? No! Well, they pretty much knew they were going to die. And I don't like these cave crawlers, so I'm going to leave. We'll come back to this biome. We'll come back to all the biomes, I promise. The game leads us there. Just for right now, I wanted to get this to pass time, and it was kind of not worth it. Oh my god, there's another mess. Leave me alone, man. I'm just trying to get these gel sacks ready. All right, I'll see you guys back at the base. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Cyclops depth module... What? Increases diving depth to maximum. What? I don't, so I don't have to make that? Where the hell did I get that? Oh my god, I got it in the time capsule. I totally forgot. Jesus Christ, that saves me so much time. The time cap... That got approved? The devs approved that one. That's crazy. I think actually that was from the devs. I got lucky. Holy hell. That's amazing. I have one more blood oil. I need to move something. All right, let's make this arrow gel. I think I just need rubies, right? Yeah, rubies and a gel sack. Get one and two, three, and then I take this. I'm pretty sure there's a glitch in this, right? If I hit that, pick it up, and then plant them, right? Or plant these, right? Let me do that again. Plant these back. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah, so this is a cheap way to do what I'm doing. You just pick these back up, and then you put them back down, and then you can get them again. I'm pretty sure, but that's fine. I actually don't have enough room for all that. Actually, it was perfect. I just need one more. So one, two, there we go. <laughs> awesome. All right, Aerogel, finally, finally, finally. Give me my builder and, oh, wait. <gasps> wait, I can't build this here. I gotta build the water filtration system. Ah, son of a... Hmm. All right, let me take these batteries. I gotta remove this too, apparently. So two titanium and a copper wire. I don't even think I have the copper wire. Come on. I just need some copper. God dang it. This is the easiest place for copper, huh? Ooh, this place has a lot of... Oh, it still has the same titanium I dropped. Holy crap. Silver! Yay! Copper... Titanium, still take. I'm gonna need it, dude. I gotta build a base at some point. Oh, 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 oh. All right, I think that's enough copper for now. Where's my home? All right, quickly, copper wire. Build it with the aerogel. Now we're gonna need some more power, more than likely. Let me put the charger back now. Let me replace this battery and charge it. There we go. And what else can I do? What else can I do? What else can I build in this base right now? Oh, the advanced wiring kit. I don't think I got enough stuff for that. But I will I will try. Can I put this right above? <gasps> yes, I can. Perfect. Oh, I can make another copper wire to make the computer chip. I think I need table coral sample for that. Yeah, table coral. And then what else does this need? Computer chip, two gold, and a wiring kit, which is just two silver. I already have one on me. Do I have another? Come on. Yes, I do. Okay, uh, two gold. Wiring kit and the advanced wiring kit. Perfect. Now we can build this up. Oh, I'm so happy. Charge death fun. Uh, I'll take this one too. Out of my Seamoth. Hello. And then now we can charge this one as well. Perfect. Get it charging, boy. Get it charging. Take all the power from this base. It actually is going down quite a lot. <laughs> uh oh. 20% water. Okay, so this is not the... F uh, ooh. Nope, we still have four. Okay. Ate some fruit, all filled up. And uh, we got to get some more power on this. So that means we probably should get some titanium and build another room. Uh, could I put it on top? Put it on top, and then I can power it from up here. If I could get some heat, I have no idea where the closest heat is, but I just need a little bit more titanium to finish this. Okay, we got to build a ladder somewhere. Where can I build the ladder? It's not gonna hurt these things, right? Yeah, climb up, and then we gotta look at building. Probably a bioreactor wouldn't be hard, wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, because the only other source of power we have is that right now. So I guess that's it. There we go, right at the front. We need a wiring kit, which we're going to need two silver for. God dang it! I don't like being in this biome, dude. I hate this biome. It's like the transitional biome. Like, oh, things are nice and safe and peaceful, and there's barely any predators except explodey guys and and uh, wrist suckers, and then now there's all kinds of threats. Sand sharks and reefbacks don't hurt you, but they're scary. Uh, just looking for some silver. Silver, yay. If I could collect some more, that'd be great. 
Actually, I don't have any room. I gotta go. I can't believe I, I did this all in one oxygen run. Oh, yeah, we have another. Wait. This is Altera HQ. This may be your only communications window. We can't send a rescue ship all the way out there, so Aurora, you're just gonna have to meet us halfway. We've uploaded blueprints to the ship's We're computer. Doing a sandwich run, you in? Uh, yeah, give me a second. Black box data shows the high security terminal in the captain's quarters is still functional. Becky's leaving like in five minutes. All right, well, tell Becky I'll just take the, the regular. The regular? Yeah, she'll know what I mean. The code should and be... she doesn't? Just tell her the regular, dude. Okay, the if code... I say regular, she's like, what's the regular? I can come all the way back up here. The code should be 2679. The regular's just a ham and cheese. Okay, would well, you just say ham and cheese? Ham and cheese. Okay. <laughs> I'm... I'm not 100% sure, but I think that was Neebs, Neebs Gaming, that did that voiceover. But basically, uh, what we just got was the code to go back into the Aurora and get blueprints on a way to get home. But obviously, the way, the only way that I know that we can get home, that anybody would, uh, you know, predict to get home, would be via a space vehicle. Uh, potentially a rocket, you know what I'm saying? So if we build that, we know that we're going to get shot down. So even though we got this in-game thing, we still can't do it. We have a lot... A lot to do. For now, let's turn this all into titanium, make a wiring kit, and then we'll have a bioreactor. Oh yeah, I probably should put solar panels on here. Wouldn't be a bad idea. And then we'll have a bioreactor too. An unlimited supply of gel sacks is also a great thing, because then we could just use that to fuel this. Oh, I need that lubricant. See, this is why I made a lubricant, man. I think ahead. So interior grow bed. I'm thinking about growing some plants that I can put in here. Uh, I don't know, I can't put the gel sacks in here, but I could put something in there eventually possibly some fish in an aquarium too see if you guys replicated yourselves that would be amazing so this is basically infinite power just has to be maintained right so i can just swipe 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 and then i can take six of them and then put those back right see six free ones <laughs> all right let's put some of this in here i don't know how much power we're gonna get but something 650 i guess that's the max it can be with this it's going up, though. Yes, it's going up. Okay, perfect. We should also make a bed. A bed wouldn't be a bad idea. I'll just put it up here to sleep. Uh, two titanium and a fiber mesh. What do we need for that again? Oh, creep vine samples. Crap. There you are, buddy. So we'll get this bed made. I'm going to sleep. And we'll call this an episode. Oh, wow. Wait, couldn't I plant these? I think I could plant... No, I can only do it outside, right? It has to be in the... Uh... Yeah, never mind. Wouldn't be a bad idea, though. There we go. All right. Bed. Yes. Actually, before I sleep, before I sleep, I got to do this because I'll forget next episode for sure. Wait, I can't put it in there? Really? Are you sure I can't? I'm pretty sure I can. There we go. And honestly, since I have an infinite amount, I just want to put them there. There we go. And those will grow eventually. We'll have some light too. And then we'll have, we don't have to travel out too far to get what we need for clusters and such. Hey, we got assault though. Yay, that's so fun. At least we're not going to die. It'll constantly be at one or two power. Anyway, let's sleep. And we'll call this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any other tips or suggestions. Or maybe you can tell me what you want to see in the next episode. And I'll try to do it. Thanks again for watching. I love you all. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.